move on now. The fourth annual Trading Africa Summit kicked off in Cape Town today with the focus placed on navigating growing illiquid markets. Bridget Taylor spoke to Baba Kature. He is the head of operations at Ejance Omwati Prez about accelerating capital market developments in West Africa. Our investor base today is, I would say, 90% of all the issuance are owned by banks. Yeah. So primary investors are, are banks. Yeah. Um, and one of the mission we have at the agency is to try to broaden that investor base. So those banks will understand the credit of their sovereign. They However, do. when there's various sovereigns that are involved, I mean, West Africa is not just one sovereign. Mm -hmm. So how do you assess the various sovereign credit ratings? So what we're trying to do right now is to, you know, when, 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 when our government goes to the international market, they, they need to be rating. They, they need to have a rating. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying to, to promote um, a regional rating and make right. sure that all the governments are rated uh, on a regional scale. So that's one of the, the projects. So you're going to benchmark then? We, we want to build that benchmark. Okay. Okay. Um, the, the other thing is we are trying to make sure that information dissemination is well done yes. throughout the, the region. And that's where Thompson Reuters comes in. True. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what we've done actually uh, since we've started, we, we made sure that information was available on tons of investors. So, yes. so now all the investors around the world can know when there, there's an auctions, mm -hmm. they have their auctions results, so the information is there. So now let's talk about the auction process because that's quite an interesting scenario in Africa. Yeah. So you're going to be issuing out to your primary dealers. Mm -hmm. uh, primary dealers in, in that West African agency, would you look at them as, is there a set of primary dealers across West Africa or does each sovereign have their own primary dealers? So we don't have yet primary dealers. Okay. We're in the process of, uh, of selecting the primary dealers. Okay. So that process is, is going on. And will you do it specific per sovereign or will you do it as a region? Uh, per sovereign. Okay. So, uh, so we do it per sovereign and once we have at, at this stage, at this, at this stage um, banks have a direct access to the auctions. Yes. Okay. Once we're going to have the primary dealers, the first stage is that banks and the primary dealers will have access to the auctions. Sure. Uh, but are the primary dealers going to be banks? Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Because I mean th th that's often the challenge. I mean, if we look at then trying to develop secondary markets, mm -hmm. you've got to be careful about how you develop that primary dealer base because if you create um, opportunities for investors to be primary dealers, it mm -hmm. just mitigates that um, secondary market. So, do you see? So, initially, we, you're going to be developing the primary dealer space, getting mm -hmm. the auction um, operations up and mm -hmm. running. How do you then incentivize um, banks and those that are in the primary dealer space not to hold on to all the stock? and to actually then regenerate that into the market so that the mm. creates a, it creates some form of transparency in terms of correct pricing mm. because market mm. is about happy buyer, happy mm. seller. Mm. So we have, we have um, so you were asking earlier if you're going to have primary dealers for all the region or primary dealers per country. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have primary dealers per country. Yeah. When actually today is when there's an auctions, um, investors come from all the countries. Yes, of course. Um, so I think that the ratio is about between 25 and 30 percent um, owned by institutions that are within the countries yes. and the rest is outside. Perfect. Um, so once we're going to have the primary dealers for one country, naturally um, investors from other countries will still come to buy issuance in other countries. Okay, so just to finally, just to close us mm -hmm. off, give us mm -hmm. an idea, just we're around that investor base, the appetites and the um, opportunities for them to be able to access those markets. So the, the appetite in terms of numbers, yes, yield. In terms of, so in terms of investor base, not just in the sovereign, but around um, the, the, the jurisdiction itself. Um, what, what you're saying is that not only sovereign, yes, other, yes. yeah. Well, we have, so we have banks, clearly big players, um, insurance, insurance companies, yes. that are one of the, the, the big targets we have. Mm -hmm. um, pension funds, pension plan, plans, yeah. we need to clearly touch those people, but also international investors. Yes. Uh, you were mentioning that the yield, yield curve is pretty close to, I mean, short terms zero, long terms one to two percent. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're seeing is on the, on the short terms of the curves, yields around five percent on the yeah. one year. I know, and then and it goes out to almost like 20 percent, right? So less less than that in our union. Yeah. Uh, I think that five to seven years we're below 
six to seven percent. Yeah. But the inflation rate is below two percent. Okay, so, so you get a real interest rate. So the real interest rate is still is still quite attractive. Okay, and then lastly, just quickly close us off and just talk to us about um, accessing those markets for somebody that doesn't sit in the sovereign. Is it easy to access the market? Can I invest as an investor into your fund? Um, into those, uh, in other words, can I participate in the secondary market? That, that's where jobs needs to be done. Okay. Uh, we still have an FX control by the central bank. Yep. That's that's the that's the, the environment. Um, so there is a there is you need to go through that process to to convert your currency into Zuff yes. by by the products, and then once you get out, convert again. Um, so you got the currency exposure. You got the currency exposure, but actually uh, the Zuff is pegged to euro. Okay. So if you're in euro investors, you pretty there's no FX exposure. And that's where we leave it for business tonight, this evening. We'll be back with the uh, Money Manager straight after this. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.